What's going on guys, Ryan Rattillo here at the Crypto Fiend Studios bringing you guys the hottest, the latest, and everything crypto related news. Today we're going to be looking at the 8 safest ways to store your cryptocurrencies in the crypto space. Because unfortunately the crypto space is the wild west and anyone would do anything to get access to your precious cryptocurrencies. So you want to make sure that they're secure so nothing like what happened to me can ever happen to you. So now that we got that out of the way, let's jump into the video. So first off we're going to be looking at three hardware wallets and then we're going to be looking at four software wallets and then we're going to be looking at one mobile device wallet uh, so to start things off we have the keep key the keep key is a hardware wallet it costs around $100 and it uses the same software encoding and firmware as the treasure wallet that is another hardware wallet that we'll be discussing in a second so that is the the security side of things for the keep key mobility it's the largest hardware wallet of them all and requires a usb so that's something to consider do you want something that's bulky kind of like the size of an iphone or do you want something that's small like the ledger nano s that's the size of, of a usb drive uh convenience requires usb and password authentication so you do have to use a usb to integrate the information into your computer, which is not really a big deal at all unless you're super lazy. Um, but also, there is a password on the device, which there should be, because uh, even if the device is not connected to the internet, you want to make sure that everyone around you can't just pick up the device and access it. Um, so the style is anodized aluminum LED screen. Uh, so it is a nice... Uh, hardware wallet i do like it it is a little bulky for my taste i personally don't have it but i've seen videos of it pictures of it etc it's a little too big for my taste but it is a nice wallet next up ledger nano s we all know what the ledger nano s is it's a very popular wallet a lot of publicity about this wallet uh, this is a hardware wallet, $65, the cheapest of all the hardware wallets. Use of a secure element. Medium-sized hardware wallet requires USB. Simple user interface uh, requires USB and password authentication, and it's a thumb drive shaped. So the Ledger Nano S, the benefits of this compared to KeepKey, it's cheaper by about $30, we'll say. It uses a secure element as their security. Uh, the the hardware wallet is about the size of a USB drive, and the simple user interface is a little less uh, little less convenient than the Keep Key. I've tend to notice that the Ledger Nano interface is uh, kind of hard to use compared to the Keep Key. It's not as easy to navigate, uh, but overall, it is nice how it is the size that it is, as well as it being a lot cheaper. So the Treasure, a reputation for gold standard security and crypto wallet. So this wallet is the safest when it comes to the security side of things, which is the most important factor. That's why you're buying it. Uh, so that is something to consider. It is $100. Smallest hardware wallet requires USB. Simple UI interface, uh, user interface requires USB and password authentication. Shock tolerant design. So uh, over the Treasure and the Keep Key, the Treasure is your better bet. It's $100, the same pr price as the Keep Key, uh, but it has the reputation for the highest security rating. So you would be kind of foolish not to just use the, the Treasure. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but that's how I pronounce it. Um, but another thing to consider, it is the smallest hardware wallet. So if you're known, if you're prone to losing things, maybe you should go with the Keep Key so it's a big bulky device that you can't just lose. And whenever having any hardware wallet, you definitely want to keep this somewhere where it's safe and secure in a safe, uh, a locked drawer, something like that, uh, away from liquids and any uh, deteriorating materials, stuff like that. So next up we have Coinbase. Coinbase is free. Multiple layers of security and 100% crypto insurance, web-based, beginner-friendly, instant and free transfer to GDAX and buy for buying and selling cryptos online, and it's beginner-friendly. So we all know Coinbase. Coinbase is the easiest access point from debit to credit, debit credit card into cryptocurrencies. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't realize that Coinbase is a very good option. Now, you definitely don't want to just hold your cryptocurrencies on any exchange like Binance. Uh, KuCoin, etc. Because 
uh, those are prone to hacks. You never know which exchange could get hacked. You never know which exchange could freeze your funds, anything like that. So I don't suggest holding your cryptocurrencies on an exchange unless you're a day trader and you're trading your cryptos all the time that maybe fluctuate back and forth. Um, but Coinbase is an excellent option if you're a beginner. You're just investing in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, or Bitcoin Cash because Coinbase has never been hacked. They also have 100% crypto insurance. So if your cryptocurrencies do get stolen, crypt, uh, Coinbase will back them up and give you uh, what you lost back. Um, another thing is it's very easy to use as well as you could use the GDAX exchange for buying and selling with zero fees. So Coinbase is an excellent option, but I don't highly suggest um, keeping your funds on Coinbase for the long, long term uh, because you just never know what could happen. Um, so next up, we have the Mew, My Ether Wallet. My Ether Wallet is an excellent software choice for storing your cryptocurrencies. It's free, offline GitHub download available, private keys are recorded down, steep learning curve to achieve security requires authentication. So the nice thing about the My Ether Wallet is you can't access it without your private key. You need your private key in order to access your funds. The one side of things I don't necessarily like about My Ether Wallet, it is kind of confusing to navigate. Uh, when, you, when you're a beginner in the space and you're trying to understand My Ether Wallet, it can get very confusing. Confusing. So before you just jump into My Ether Wallet, I highly suggest that you watch maybe a couple videos of tutorials of how to use it. Um, make sure you understand all the features of how to use the wallet before you just send funds and use the wallet. Because that's the worst thing at all. That's the worst thing you don't. Because that's the worst thing. You don't want to lose your cryptocurrencies because uh, you sent them to the wrong place or something like that. So my Ether Wallet is an excellent option, uh, but I'd highly suggest making sure that you understand how to use it because it is a little confusing uh, as, for an interface. So, Jax, free new updates might not be fully secure, available on all platforms and mobile devices, uh, shapeshift integration, mobile interface, mobile interface, pleasant app user interface. So the JAX is not the most secure. It is an excellent option and it is one of the most secure, but it's not the most secure. Um, available on all platforms and mobile devices. So this one you can get on your mobile device if you are interested. Uh, you can actually customize the design of the wallet um, as well as it having a pleasant user interface. Um, now why I'm mentioning Jax is because I wanted to give you guys a good variety of wallets you can check out, but Jax is not gonna be your best option for overall security. Uh, for the, let me go over Electrum and then I'll discuss my personal option uh, out of the software wallets. So Electrum. It's free, it's multi-sig, predominant, lightweight, and desktop. I really like the Electrum Wallet for it being very, very secure, as well as a very simplified user interface. For the beginner, this is the wallet you're gonna wanna go with. Very basic, easy to use, um, and it's very secure. So between the four, let's start with the three hardware. Between the three hardware wallets, if you want something that's going to be big and you're not going to lose it easily because it's bulky and it's like the size of an iPhone, I would go with KeepKey. If you want something that's uh, rather smaller, very safe, has a lot of great reviews, um, I would go with the Ledger Nano S. If you want something that's small um, but it's the safest and most secure out of all the hardware wallets, go with the Treaser because between the KeepKey and the Treaser, they're the same price. If you want security, go with the Treaser. If you want the bigger size and the better display, go with the Keep Key. Um, so between the four software wallets, uh, Coinbase is an excellent option if you're a beginner uh, because Coinbase, again, has never been hacked, but you never know they could be hacked in the future. You just never know in the crypto space. My Ether Wallet is going to be very confusing, but I think it's an excellent option and probably your best bet out of security uh, when it comes to not having your cryptocurrencies on an exchange. And when it comes to Jax, Jax is a good choice for a desktop and a mobile device wallet. Uh, that's really all about Jax because there are better options other than Jax. For the Electrum, Electrum Wallet is great for security and has a very easy uh, user interface. So if you are a beginner and you have other cryptocurrencies other than the cryptos that are offered on Coinbase, I would go with the Electrum Wallet um, because they offer other cryptocurrencies other just than Ethereum-based tokens, which are only offered on the MyEther Wallet. So say you have NEO, you can't put NEO on Coinbase or MyEther My Wallet because it's not accessible, but you can put NEO on 
say an Electrum wallet, a cryptocurrency that's compatible with the Electrum wallet. So out of the three hardware wallets, my personal favorite is going to be the Ledger Nano S. It's a simple design, USB drive, it's very secure, it has incredible reviews, and it's the cheapest. Out of the four hardware wallets, my personal favorite is going to be the my ether wallet my ether wallet is a very secure wallet and is really only accessible with your private key so if you keep that secured no one's going to be able to access it but it is a very confusing wallet to navigate uh, so those are the seven wallets we just looked at we're going to be looking at one more wallet that i highly recommend you guys check out and it's going to be a mobile wallet yes a mobile wallet and i think this mobile wallet definitely stumps all the other competition and it just got released onto the market so this mobile wallet is going to be Engine Wallet. Yes, Engine Wallet. Engine is not sponsoring me to promote their wallet or anything like that. I just highly suggest checking this wallet out. It definitely stumps the competition in the sense that it's a very easy user interface as well as they claim it's the most secure mobile wallet in the entire world. And I could I could agree with that. Um, I actually had an interview about a month ago now with Ytech Radomski, the co-founder of Engine. And in that interview, he, he discussed that they were coming out with this wallet very soon. And he was telling me about the security features, the security measures they took to make sure that this wallet was the best in the world. They actually downloaded, they would download all the other mobile wallets on the app store on the android store um, and try to tamper with them and try to hack into them to see how secure they really were and they were able to hack into every single one that they downloaded that says something now of course they weren't able to hack into you know like coinbase uh, but all these other like third-party wallets that you're not so familiar with they were able to hack into. So Engine actually went off of that information they were able to receive from those wallets and integrated it into their wallet to make sure it is the most secure in the world when it comes to mobile wallets. Um, so overall, I really like this wallet. I actually have a video for you guys on my, my iPhone of the wallet to show you what it looks like, all its features. It's very simple design, which I do like. Now, the nice thing about this wallet is they do have the face ID and the thumbprint scanner for uh, iPhones. I don't know uh, about Androids too much. I, I'm an iPhone guy, uh, but they do have that for iPhones, which is an awesome feature. So no one can just know your password and get into it. But if you don't have those features, you can use your password. Uh, so this is the home screen. This is what it looks like. My Ether wallet. I don't have anything in the wallet right now for video purposes, uh, but the US dollar amount would be displayed here. And then each cryptocurrency you want to be displayed would be down here the amount and the US dollar amount. So if we keep going on, this display here just shows like basic uh, backup wallet, password, language, all that kind of stuff. Very, very simple wallet. Up here, this is where you can change your password, backup wallet, edit coin list. And then this is the coin list section where you can actually add different coins you want to be displayed onto your wallet. Now, the really th cool thing about this wallet is that they accept Bitcoin, Litecoin, and all ERC Ethereum-based tokens. So if a cryptocurrency is ran off of the Ethereum blockchain, it is accepted on this wallet. Now, the really cool thing is that you can actually add your own custom cryptocurrency. So if you have a cryptocurrency that just got out of an ICO phase or is still in an ICO phase and it's not released onto exchanges or the market yet, you can actually save it onto this wallet because you can put in the token contract address, the token symbol, and the decimal points and save it onto this mobile device wallet. Um, also, this is the long, long list of cryptocurrencies offered on this wallet. I think the longest list I've ever seen personally uh, when it comes to mobile wallets. Uh, that's just awesome to see. So if it's an Ethereum-based token, you can save it onto this wallet, and they do claim it to be the safest wallet in the entire world for mobile devices. Um, so that's the Engine Coin wallet for you guys. I highly recommend just checking it out, downloading the app, and just seeing if you like it. Um, I definitely think a lot of you guys will like it because people do tend to like simple interfaces that are very secure. And Engine Coin, again, they're not promoting me, but I do really like what they're doing overall as a platform. And their wallet definitely is uh, beating the competition right now. Um, so if that's the video for today, guys, let me know down below what wallets you think are the best. 
Um, you don't have to give me any personal information about what wallets you are using, but tell me what wallets you think are the best, whether it's a software, hardware, or a mobile device wallet, as well as if you are interested, join our Telegram group. We have awesome discussions in this group with a little over 160 people, I believe now, uh, with investors as well as myself. We have some very engaging conversations about cryptocurrencies, the price movement, all that kind of stuff. And you can really ask any questions you want and get quality information about those questions. Uh, so go ahead and do that if you are interested. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next. Woo!